Hey everyone and welcome to another session of the Daily Elastic Byte and the Observability Edition. Um, today I want to talk about uh, Spring Boot Actuator and how to get metrics uh, of your application into the Elastic Stack. So um, yeah, let's first get started with what Spring Boot Actuator is because it's a, it's a really useful uh, addition into any Spring Boot application. So this is the logistics. If you need to take a look at the application, which includes all the support for this, uh, you can just check out the GitHub repository uh, for the Spring Boot Reactive Observability Demo. I just added all the features that I'm going to talk about today. And in case you don't know Spring Boot Actuator, uh, it's basically an additional dependency for Spring Boot apps, and it allows you to yeah, integrate with a lot of endpoints to gather metrics in different formats to see if your application is up and running. Uh, and we will see pretty much uh, all of this up and running in a second. So the idea of Spring Boot Actuator is to have like management and monitoring helpers to make sure your application is running in production as expected. And it's a, it's a really useful thing. So let's take a look of what this actually means from an implementation perspective. And uh, the first thing to take a look at is usually our, our Gradle dependency file. And one thing you would want to add is the Spring Boot Actuator dependency. And the other thing that I have added today is the uh, micrometer registry to format micrometer metrics in a, in a certain format or notation if you want. And what we will do here is we will export our metrics in a Prometheus compatible format so that the metric bit can consume them. Uh, there are a couple of different yeah, possibilities how you could solve this. A very common one is also something called Eulokia. Uh, which allows you to export all the JMX-based metrics of a JVM application via a surflet. Um, and as you can already see, because we're using a reactive demo here, we don't have the surflet provider, so it's, it's a bit harder to get up and running. You could also run it as an agent, but at the end, I consider the Prometheus export ability the, the most simple one in order to configure it and get up and running. And what else we will do, or what I have done, is that I have to expose those actuator endpoints and I only want to expose a few of them. Those are the ones that we will take a look in in a second um, and I also have some more configuration to show more details and I will show in a second uh, what this is and what it does. In order to get up and running we also have to create a single configuration bean the, which uh, returns the Prometheus scrape endpoint. This is the endpoint that the metric bead will be hitting and you can tie a couple of different metrics to this registry and as you can see here uh, i pretty much try to find most of them that, that i find interesting another interesting part here is that you can also export custom metrics if you remember a few days ago i had this background task running um, permanently every minute you can see here it's scheduled for every minute and i also created two counters for my metrics registry so all of this is done uh, using micrometer and micrometer basically is the ability to yeah, collect metrics across your code if you want again you could do this with apm agents and invoking or calling counting the the method calls but today we're going to use this registry so we have a counter of how often this background task is running and how often the the sleep calls within this background task are running by incrementing a counter over here and over here and the basic idea is to make sure that we can access these counters of our Prometheus export. So let's take another look at the uh, data that is actually being exported. Again we have this actuator endpoint and it's JSON so I will just pre-print it. Uh, you can see here which other endpoints are available. Uh, those are pretty much the ones that I configured earlier in the application configuration. Um, and we can take a look at the health one first because that's probably the, the most interesting one to get up and running. And the health endpoint basically tells you if your application is up and running. And being your application up and running not only means it is reachable, but also that it can reach its backend services, uh, like the Elasticsearch service in this example. And I also added an application configuration directive to contain more information so you get more, more info. Like Usually you only get the status up, but that's it. But if it's down, you also want to know like what part of my application is down. This is also useful if you start something uh, as a Kubernetes pod and you want to wait until it's really up and running and then only direct traffic over there. Uh, the other interesting part might be our metrics. So you can get 
access to metrics like the, the JVM classes here or how many events you have logged. And you can also see here that we have the uh, yeah, task running background run, the, the custom metric that I created earlier. And if you append this to the URL, you see that there's a count for this available. Uh, however, this is not super efficient because you would always have to pull the metrics endpoint first and then each endpoint for each metric that you find. So this is this is a bit tedious. Um, that is the reason why I created the Prometheus endpoint within Actuator. And that one cannot be passed as JSON. That is expected because Prometheus uses a text-based format. So you can see here, these are our metrics. Again, uh, the same that we saw earlier. And we may want to be interested in our background task. And we can see here that the total runs are 1,305 and the three sleep runs are always three times of that. So this would be exported. So now the next step is how do we get this into Elasticsearch? Um, and we can take a look at the metric B configuration, which is actually really short. It's just this piece over here where we say we have a Prometheus module. We want to run this as a collector. So metric B pulls the data from somewhere. It's not getting pushed which is the other way of how Prometheus operates. Um, and then we just have to specify the endpoint, the Prometheus URL, uh, and the metrics path with how it gets stored within Elasticsearch. And that's about it. So now every 10 seconds, we are basically gathering those Prometheus metrics and can now take a look at this within Kibana. So if we do this, uh, I already fil filtered some data out here, so we can search for service type Prometheus can just refresh it to get the latest data. Uh, and then we can take a look at a single document. So this is the document that is basically gathered by Pauling Prometheus. If we take a look at this, you see the different labels. And here you can see it's uh, for the JVM memory committed bytes, for the maximum bytes and for the used bytes. So how much memory my JVM application right now needs. So all of this is already included. Um, we could now start creating a visualization. Maybe let's go with Lens. Create a Lens-based visualization. Again, we can filter for service by Prometheus. We have to make sure we pick the right index. Our metric beat sounds good. And you may remember that we have my background tasks running. So we can just move this over here within Lens and see that it's a slowly rising because uh, every minute like this task is running so probably this looks more interesting when we gather the data from the last 24 hours and you can see okay a uh, task invocation counter is just rising so this is not super spectacular what would probably be more interesting would be the runtime in this example so we see if there's fluctuation between the runtime because the, the task invocation itself probably will not change if we just run it every minute but this way you can take arbitrary Prometheus metrics uh, and just monitor those step by step within Kibana and create your own visualizations. That's it for today. Uh, again, if you want to take a closer look, um, make sure you check out our repository. Uh, and with that, we're done for today. See you tomorrow for the next.